Hello and welcome to Yan Fu Times. All right, day seven in Japan, and we're going glamping. We took a bus from Shinjuku, and I had some bread with egg inside. It was really good. The bread was soft, and the egg was very fragrant and yummy. I also got a sugar-free latte coffee at a convenience store. It was subtle in flavor, but it was still yummy. It was a nice little drink and was delicious. For lunch, there was actually no restaurant at the glamping site, but luckily they had hot water and instant noodles. The noodles were on the thicker side. There was egg and meat inside, and it was legit. Like it was not fake, crumbly, or dissolved in the soup base. It was not too salty, even though there was an extra pack of soy sauce for you, but you really didn't need it. It was delicious, and I wish I can bring it back home to share with my friends and family. The noodles, like I said, were thicker, but it was really bouncy in texture, not mushy or hard. I also got a drink, which is. Kind of like ramune, but it was more subtle in flavor and not too sweet. I kind of like this one a little bit more, and I found this to be more fizzy than ramune. It was really good. I wish I can bring the container home, but it was made out of glass, and I didn't want to risk it. For dinner, we had to cook our own food. It was my first time, but I think the cooking turned out well. The beef, pork, and chicken were cooked nicely. The meat was very fresh, so even if you overcook it a little bit, it was still very tender. The chicken veggie pasta with tomato sauce was amazingly good. Everything was fresh, healthy, but most importantly, delicious. The salad was also nice and thoughtful as they added some pickled onions and other veggies to enhance the flavors, and adding a bit of acidity cancels out the protein's oiliness. I had a lot of fun and it was really good. I wish camping food was always this good. All right, short day, but what did you think? Please share, 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 and thank you for watching Yan Food Times.